Hello and welcome to Exacastis webinar. Today I will cover the topic fighting churn in prepaid markets and I'll share how can you do it with Exacastis customer data platform and our prepaid churn prediction app. My name is Agle and I'm responsible for product marketing at Exacaster. Uh, I will be your presenter today. So, how can we help you in prepaid markets? Let's start with two common challenges that we've seen in prepaid markets. First is customer churn. It's one of those metrics that nobody likes to talk about, and I guess for, for a good reason. Some of mobile network operators are losing up to 80% of their prepaid customers within the first 90 days. In Exacaster, we've seen that on a customer base with 1 million prepaid subscribers, 5% monthly churn rate and 5 euro ARPU, you can earn from 180,000 to 220,000 euro extra revenue and retain more than 20,000 good customers. That happens when effective data-driven tools and techniques are used. And the second common challenge that we address is revenue. Uh, we've seen that prepaid customers respond well to the right offers, obviously. Uh, on a customer base with 1 million prepaid subscribers, 6% 6 uh, 6 conversion rate, and 5 euro ARPU, you can earn from 300,000 to 400,000 euro more in revenue, again, with the right data-driven tools and techniques. Before we dive deeper, I want to share a few myths that we, we've been hearing for the last um, decade while working in this industry. So let's voice it so we're on the same page. One very common objection that is, uh, is that churn prediction doesn't work. The things like I have not seen it work in my career or I don't believe in predictive churn analytics are uh, not unusual for us. And fortunately, they are urban myth. It works and it can generate a return on investment, but only if it's done correctly. And the second objection we hear a lot is that we have tried everything. We don't do personalized offers. We don't believe in discounts. Those are very common concerns. Uh, and Again, fortunately, you don't have to discount or create complexity uh, in your rating system. The right the driven nudge at the right time is all it takes to change customer behavior. Okay, now that we don't have objections, let's talk how can we actually fight pre churn with Exacaster's customer data platform that is called Customer 360 and one of its application, churn app. So the retention process that we run has two steps. Step number one is identifying the customers that has the biggest probability to churn and the ones that has the biggest probability to be retained. That is all done in our Customer 360 platform, which is specifically designed and built for telecoms. Step number two is actual campaign management and communication with the customer. At Exacaster, we use Customer Journey, which is marketing automation platform, and it provides all necessary uh, building blocks to enable personalized campaigns. Uh, I will show it during the demo as well. So the, the key thing about our retention process is that it requires extremely small amount of data. You only need to add CDR logs like uh, data consumption, voice, uh, text messages, recharges, or package purchase, and then top up logs. Uh, those are only two configuration items that is necessary for pre return prediction. For customer identification, we use the most advanced algorithms that are available in the market. We work with deep learning model, and it is the core of the prepaid churn prediction app. We pre-train those algorithms with different prepaid scenarios, and it generates churn and probability to save scores based on multi-market training data. 
that we actually haven't seen um, of any uh, our of our customers to be able to do with their own in-house algorithms with using only internal data. Uh, the algorithms we use covers the numerous niche prepaid cases. So uh, in general, we minimize the required inputs so the retention process becomes rapid and simple. Usually it takes six months. That's right, preparation alone might be half year long, but you can run it in one day. Using customer data platform and pre-built prepaid term prediction app, very long name. <laughs> uh, whole process is automated and you can easily deploy the model in a day. Here you see uh, how uh, Customer360 provides you the insights about the customer base. You can see the details about your customer base activities like days since last outgoing action or days since last recharge. Uh, you also get recency and frequency overview powered by deep learning algorithm. And here your customer base is segmented based on their uh, lifetime and you get instant recommendation for the different segments. You also get um, retention potential overview. As I mentioned, we are predicting two different behaviors. One is probability for customers to churn and two is probability for customers to be saved with the retention offer. Uh, this way you have a picture of which customers are worth targeting and which one has less or no chances to be saved. Usually it's because in prepaid, it is not um, unusual that customers throw away their SIM cards. Uh, so in the end, it's not worth even trying to reach them. Uh, here, you can see how to optimize retention cost and target only customers with high uh, probability of being reached. Uh, we also include ROI calculators so that you could understand whether it makes sense to run a retention campaign and do your estimates. Now that we have a brief over, overview, let's see how does customer data platform and pre-pitcherin app works. Um, so I'll switch to the platform and show you a brief demo. So first, as I mentioned, I will show you how Exacaster CDP works. Uh, then we will talk, uh, we will take a look at the uh, prepaid customer churn prediction app. And in the end, I'll share a few campaign scenarios built in our customer journey platform. So welcome to Customer360. It's Exacaster customer data platform specifically designed and built for telecoms. In its very core, uh, the platform makes customer data management a self-service activity. It automates the data collection, uh, unifies data collected online and offline, allows instant rollout of use cases, such as churn prediction, and gives a single source of truth for different teams, like uh, customer base management team, customer experience team, or data science team. And that alone saves a lot of time and helps to avoid siloed system challenge that we are all aware of. Okay, so first part is sources. Everything starts with data sources. Sources allow to easily, easily collect and unify customer data from tel uh, telco-specific systems, such as network, CRM, billing, or data warehouse. Uh, adding a new data source is really straightforward. Just press Add Source here. Work. Select the data source you want. Amazon S3. Next, next, you add the name and uh, you would have the new data source. Here we have loaded several files about previous, uh, previous customers. We have um, diff, uh, two types of information, events and snapshots. Uh, events are all the activities that customers are um, uh, initiating and doing, like sending SMS, 
uh, making recharge or consuming data, receiving calls. And snapshots are photos of customer state in the particular time. Uh, so for example, if you are checking the account balance uh, at the end of the uh, day for all the customers there. In terms of sources, we are constantly adding new data sources and expanding capabilities of existing ones uh, to be able to handle specialized CDRs without any additional data engineering work. So once the data is in the platform, we can start building customer metrics. And metrics, which is also known as features, works as a central repository to extract and store insights about your customers. So I and data science teams uh, should make a noise here because they are the ones who write hundreds or even thousands of queries to prepare data. And it's either for customer segmentation, targeting reports for machine learning algorithms, personalization, or other marketing use cases where you need to send data to marketing automation tools. So in this platform, it, take, it takes just a few clicks to create metrics, and it definitely is, if not eliminates, the struggle of BI and data science teams. So we can go through the very brief example we press add metric and we can choose from several type of metrics. Here I'll choose event based. Uh, events, as I mentioned, are all type of um, data sources uh, which are generated by user actions, just like um, CDRs and telco. And we can build several metrics very quickly. Uh, let's say we take payments, payments event, we can add some filters uh, here. We can calculate how many payments um, uh, we can calculate payments that were done only, let's say, in eShops channel. So we have this rule. And uh, after the filters, we can calculate how many payments. Um, it was done daily, weekly, monthly, or you can choose custom period. We can calculate the total amount spent again daily, weekly, monthly, or on custom period. I'll choose four days. We have more attributes here. And let's say we choose when was the last uh, payment done in, in, in the eShop? So here, in very few clicks, you have eight unique metrics. And uh, it took, what, less, less than, than a minute. So you create your metrics. And then it can be instantly accessed in, uh, accessed in our um, in your selected destination, see your newly created metrics. Uh, here we have destinations. Um, and um, sending all the data and newly calculated metrics to destination is again very simple. First, you add your destination, you select it. Next, next, you name it, and, and that's how you would create your destination. Next, data thing can help you to understand the data quality. Uh, here we don't have data sync history yet. So we can move to the final and the most exciting part, which is pre-built telco apps. Okay, so the apps address telco specific business pain points, such as customer care. And uh, we have launched prepaid retention use case 
uh, with pre-determined score algorithm. And as I mentioned, it requires extremely small amount of data. You only need to add recharge events and some outgoing activity like calls, SMS, and data. And those are only two configuration items that is necessary. So when you create your app, uh, first thing you get is the customer base overview. And here you can see the details of your customer base activities, uh, like distribution by days and slash outgoing action. For example, if you go on top of the graph, you would see that uh, 54% of this base has done the action in the last uh, six days. And um, 32, 36%, sorry, uh, been more than 30, uh, 30 days without any outgoing action. So as you see, it gives you a pretty nice visual uh, to get a sense of your base and you can analyze it further with uh, days since last recharge or days since any action. Very simple um, and very clear view of the base. Next, if you scroll down, you will see recency and frequency overview table with representative labels. Here, a customer base is segmented based on their lifetime, how, um, how recently the last action has been uh, done and how frequently these actions are done by the customer. So in the lower scale, you have labels like um, inactive, uh, which means more than 30 days without action, high inactivity, low inactivity, or very active. And you want majority of your base to be on the right top side. Here you can see how many of your customers are champion. These customers are high frequent users and are very active right now. So for example, 31% of this base are champions. And if you take a look, let's say to other color, where you have potential loyalists, here you have 19% of the base um, that have high potential to become uh, great loyal customers. Uh, and if you scroll down, here you would get recommendations. So for example, for a potential loyalist um, who has uh, big gaps of the youth service, uh, probably they use this card as a second SIM, or it might just be that they only have a need to use the service once a week. However, these customers have just made an action and there's a potential to upsell them with maybe extra digital services uh, that might increase the use activity. So again, very uh, nice visual, great reflection of your base. Uh, with IE powered recommendations. Next, we we'll get retention, poten uh, retention potential. <laughs> Very mixed words. And here you can see how your customers are scoring towards probability to churn. As I mentioned, we are predicting two different things. One, probability of uh, customers to be to churn, and um, second, probability for customers to be saved. This way you have a picture of which customers are worth targeting and investing more, and which ones has less or no chances to be saved. And it's because in prepaid it is not, uh, as I mentioned, unusual that customers uh, throw away their SIM cards, so it's not worth of targeting them. And uh, we often receive the question, what criteria would determine customer as a risky? Uh, so our algorithms analyze the service consumption patterns. How often uh, do the customers recharge? How often do they use voice, data, SMS? 
how often they make service package purchase. Um, and the different patterns for every customer is identified because some of the uh, customer use the service on the daily basis very heavily. Some of the users even recharge every two, three days, while others behave totally different. Uh, so, for example, they make um, the call once a week or once every few weeks, like my dad, for example. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, the algorithm identify the usage patterns of each and every person, and then it searches for the changes of that usage pattern. When the change happens, the algorithm instantly flags that the behavior has changed and tells if the risk of churn is increasing or decreasing. So here you have uh, the scale and the graph which tells exactly that. And if you go further, you get uh, the graph that I explained before. Um, uh, because in order for customer to be retainable, first of all, this customer has to be reachable. And uh, you can choose here the, the base, which are you targeting? And uh, you can slide here. It's crashing. And choose um, the the, the um, size of the base which you will target. If you go below, you will find ROI calculator so that you could understand whether it makes sense to run retention campaign, and you can do your estimates here. And the last part is prediction history part. We run these predictions on the on the daily basis. Okay, so this is briefly covers the process of how creepy churn prediction is running uh, and how customer data platform is working. So now I'd like you to show how you can use your customer journeys platform for marketing automation. And we mentioned we are using, okay, this platform doesn't give me the access. I will try <laughs> to do it quickly. Here you go. So customer journeys, um, as mentioned, is marketing automation platform, which provides all necessary building blocks to enable personalized campaigns. Um, here we would be setting up the retention campaigns and um, you can see one simple example uh, where we say, okay, we select the customers who are likely uh, to churn, we do A-B testing, uh, we split it into target and control group, for target group we send SMS, for control group we send to nothing. Very easy flow. Uh, drag and drop uh, features, which is ma uh, which makes it really easy um, to use it. And here on customer query bubble, we would be uh, setting up the uh, we would be selecting the the, the group um, chosen with the customer data platform. Here we have a little bit more complex a more sophisticated campaign. If you want to do uh, differentiated offerings between more active or less active customers, then you can build bigger campaign and, and send different type of messages to different groups. Uh, you can really build any flow you want. So that would be it. I hope you got a sense how uh, Exacaster Customer Data Platform works, how you can add pre-picture and prediction app and what you get inside. We offer a free trial, so please uh, go to our website, www 
dot and um, either book your self-service pre-trial or uh, ask for a demo. Thank you for your attention and meet you soon.